whole department is doing the whole spectrum of urology, mm -hmm. uh, except of transplantations. Uh, but otherwise, we are, I think, can uh, propose all kinds of procedures. We are a little bit concentrated on oncologic urology, which is also my specialty. So we are doing, and in in the in the area of of uh, uh, oncologic diagnosis and treatment. We can, I think, provide the top uh, approaches or methods that are available in the world. So, let's say we are doing open surgery, we are doing laparoscopic surgery, uh, and we are doing robotic surgery today. Uh, so, what we can propose in this moment is, if we will talk about each malignancy, uh, what we propose, uh, let's say, in prostate cancer is the, the our diagnostic procedures, particularly the fusion biopsy, MRI fusion biopsy, uh, which is now a new trend uh, yeah, in the detection of prostate cancer. We are doing it routinely for about two or three years. Uh, the next what we propose are radical prostatectomies, which we are doing uh, nearly only robotically today. Uh, so we opened the center recently, it is, we started a few weeks ago in fact, but uh, I was doing uh, robotic surgery in other departments, so I personally perform more than 200 procedures today. Uh, so, but it is increasing day after day. Uh, we are doing now about at least four or five or six surgeries a week in this way. So this is uh, robotic radical prostatectomy. Concerning bladder cancer, uh, we are certainly doing all endoscopic uh, procedures, I mean transurethral procedures, uh, when we remove the tumor through the yeah. urethra. Mm -hmm. We have all equipment that is today recommended for uh, endoscopic detection of the tumor. There are some methods like fluorescent cystoscopy or narrow band imaging. This is some some technical uh, uh, instruments that uh, can improve the visibility of tumors or improve the detection of the tumor. Then we are doing the most, uh, uh, I think, the, the most modern. Approaches concerning endoscopic surgery, including unblock resections, uh, uh, which is a technique how we remove the tumor, uh, which is, uh, I think, very modern and uh, uh, such a highlight what is uh, mm -hmm. done in this moment. We are doing also radical surgery, it means radical uh, uh, cystectomies uh, in invasive for bigger tumors uh, when uh, we remove the whole weather and we can provide all kinds of diversion that are performed today. It's not only incontinent diversion like a stoma, mm -hmm. but also the continent diversion when we create the nail bladder uh, from, the, from the bowel. Uh, we are doing it open today with open procedure, but I think we have really a big experience and concerning this cystectomies we are uh, the largest center in Czech Republic and we, we are doing about 50 procedures a year, uh, which is quite a lot even in, in bigger countries than this Czech Republic. So we have quite a big experience with that and I think uh, results that are comparable or maybe even better than many centers in Western uh, concerning uh, complications rate and so on and so on. Uh, we are also in bladder cancer doing intravesical treatment, which is intravesical chemotherapy. When we, uh, let's say, put the, the, we even have some, some heat uh, or thermo chemotherapy mm -hmm. approaches. There are in fact two methods today uh, available. One is one is from the company Combat, 
with this thermal chemotherapy, when, when this, the, the chemotherapy is heated a little bit, yeah, yeah. it's warm. And then it's uh, one, another method, which is microwave thermal chemotherapy, it's called Synergo. Mm -hmm. uh, we are doing as well, this, this one, this method has been available as well. So this is uh, bladder cancer concerning renal cancer. We are doing, doing all kinds of, of renal surgery, including partial resection, nephrectomies, partial resections, open or laparoscopically, it depends from the size uh, and type of the lesion. I hope and our plan is very uh, soon start with uh, robotic surgery on the kidneys. I think in summer probably we will do first procedures. Uh, so in autumn it can be reality. But in this moment we can do it laparoscopically, that is not a big difference, I think. Uh, and uh, this is all, I think, concerning oncology. <laughs> Certainly we are doing some uh, retroperitoneal infernal dissection for testis cancer, but it is not very frequently uh, performed procedure. Uh, then, uh, and we certainly concentrate on, on uh, advanced cases, so, so we are uh, doing a lot of cases, let's say for from in, in pelvic surgery with big tumors when the patients were refused in a lot of other centers and uh, we can do that. So this is concerning oncology, but as I said, we are doing also we have colleagues who are doing some andrology. andrology. Uh, Mr. Zorich has some experience with the lady. Uh, we are doing some varicocele operations, uh, uh, some uh, approaches for, for infertile infertility. Yeah. So uh, this is another part of the spectrum. And we certainly are doing urodynamic. He has a big spinal unit in the hospital, so we also have experience with some patients with, with neurogenic bladder, non-functioning bladder. Yeah, and, uh, we now even are doing the artificial sphincter surgery hmm. with AMS. Uh, 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 and we are also using some, some neuromodulation surgery, for instance, as a first center in Czech Republic, but it is very, very restricted, restricted in the case certain condition. Uh, in, in some patients with, with uh, uh, low contractility of the blood. Uh, so, but this, this is not frequent diagnosis, but we also are, we are in fact now the only center in Czech Republic which is doing that currently. Mm -hmm. First two cases in the Czech Republic. It's excellent results. It is not complicated surgery. It's just uh, the knowledge how to manage all, all excess, uh, the, the excess and, and diagnosis and so on. We are doing an all endoscopy for stones. We don't have extra corporal lithotripsy. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't do it. <coughs> in fact, we have all flexible endoscopes and uh, ureteroscopes and for for retrograde treatment and also for percutaneous surgery for stones in the kidneys, in the upper tract, upper urinary tract. Mm -hmm. This is all I think. Uh, are you performing high food as well, this no. high intensity, no. or it's not available? Yeah, yes. I am even nearly sure it is not available in Czech Republic. Okay. Uh, regarding the Robert Da Vinci, uh, you're using it only at the moment for the prostate cancer patients? Yes, at this moment for prostate, prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. only, yes. Uh, okay, and uh, for, for operations on urinary bladder, you mentioned that you do the reconstruction as well, the plastic, yes. So it is done usually from, uh, from which material are, can you be, yes, what, what is that? We are using the, the, the uh, small bowl. Small bowl, yes. Uh, yeah, Hileo, which is, uh, I think, you know, in this kind of surgery, every center has some specific approach a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we are doing something. Sometimes the, it is called Hauptmann and Neobladder. It is the technique how you structure the, the yeah. Neobladder. Sometimes some uh, modification.
application of student or pleasure or something like that, depending from the individual situation, but from the small intestine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in case of testicular cancer, for example, if uh, if there is removal of the testes and everything, uh, are there use of those implants uh, placement? Uh, oh, there's no problem. Certainly. So you, you, you do that, yeah? It is, I don't know why, but it is not very frequent surgery in Czech Republic. There's a little bit of that, but, but it is possible to do it. It is very simple. Yeah, because I remember I had a case, so a patient asked that, so I want to, to know this possible. Is it implant? Certainly it is possible to do that. Okay. So, uh, for patients with uh, prostate cancer, uh, if you have a choice to conduct, let's say, like a ro robotic surgery or just maybe an open, so the preference is always to go with the Da Vinci, yes? Yes, we, we you know, I personally did, I don't know, thousands of open procedures for prostate cancer, so, but I think that the Da Vinci is, is, uh, has several advantages and I don't see many, many indications why do it openly, in fact. So, I think we are nearly everything doing with robot today, and we'll do it probably. We also did, did some laparoscopic uh, surgery, but, but the robot is definitely better. So, so, maybe it can happen in the future that there will be some cases where we, for some reason, decide for open surgery. But I think that the, the laparoscopy is out of it.